Hi, welcome to E32 Mark tutorial using Arduino IDE by Robojax. My name is Ahmad Shamshiri. I'm from Canada. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use the analog input of ESP32 development module. We are going to learn about number of pens, how to use them in code, and also I will give you an example using a potentiometer to read the voltage and display it on a serial monitor. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. ESP32 module has different variation. The one that we are discussing in this video is ESP room 32 which has 16 analog inputs we can use different gpio as analog input and i'm going to show you with that the analog to digital converter uh, bit rate is 12 which means that in arduino ide we, you were using 10 bits 2 to the power of 10 in this one we are using 2 to the power of 12 which goes to 4095 so keep that in mind in different steps from 0 to 3.3 volts we have 4095 so it's more accurate that Arduino. I've created this pen map so you can find easily all the pens many of the diagrams for the pen out are cluttered with tons of information and people are confused so I made it simple for different application I've created different pen out all of them will be available at the link below at robojax.com ESP32 has 16 analog to digital converter input or analog input where you can read analog voltages. The availability of a lot of input will make it very suitable for different applications. And I'm going to show you as an example that we have connected the pen here to read the voltage or any different pens. And I will going to rotate this potentiometer so we can get the voltage between 0 to 3.3 volts as we rotate this and this will measure it to us and i will display it on the serial monitor i prepared this image so you can understand easily the analog pens all the pens that are yellow these are the analog input pen or analog to digital converter connected to them red are the pen gpio number this these are the actual number of the module whites are the label on the module for example if i hold this the same way as the the module as you can see here is VP and UP so this is SP and P and you will see different labeling on them but this is the actual pen long text I put them on S and P so you will find out this one by comparing with the diagram that I provided this will be included in the page that you will get the code but these are the GPIO pen that you will put in a code for example, if you connect your wire to, to this pen, SN, or here as it mentioned as UN or VN, then you will type 39. And then we will say this is analog 3 pen. These pens, in certain way, if you write it in certain development code, they have meaning, but here they are just meaningless. Just put these numbers with a, a red background that are beside this yellow. For example, we have four pens here and then 12 pen here, total 16. This variable resistor, or sometimes people call it potentiometer, has three wires or three pens. I've connected here three wires. You will get it something like this without wire. I've soldered the wire here. The variable resistor or potentiometer, it's shown on diagrams like this. This is actually a resistor and this point at the middle is a sliding piece that goes either to the left or right. When you move it to the left, it becomes the same value as whatever is at A pin. And if you are somewhere at the middle, you will get half of the value. And if it is to the right, it will go to the B. And this is what is inside this variable resistor that I have. So on this side, so this is the resistive material and this is a wiper that goes in between. This is a 100 kilo ohm variable resistor. And this is a 10 kilo ohm variable resistor. And it can be rotated. 
So let's say if this is 100 kilo ohm, if you put your multimeter between point A and point B, you will get 100 kilo ohm from here to here. That's, that's as if you, if you put multimeter between this point and this point. This will not change. It will be fixed. But uh, if you want a value between 0 and 100 kilo ohm, in this case, if this is 100 kilo ohm, if you move, if you bring this to the left, you will get 0 ohm because at this point it's 0 and slowly it increases. At the middle, it will be 50 kilo ohm and this will be 100 kilo ohm. So if you get between A and C, if you put your multimeter, bring this to the left, it will be 0. And slowly, if you move it to the right, the value will increase. If it reaches here, it will be 50 kilo ohm and around here it will be 75 kilo ohm and around here when this reaches, the wiper reaches to the point B, it will be 100 kilo ohm. Let me now explain the wiring. The pin is a variable. When you rotate this, you get different values. So we will connect this, uh, let's say, to 3.3 volts. That's why this side we will connect it to zero and the middle one is where you can get a variable. If this is connected to 3.3 .3 volts, when you rotate left, then the middle will be connected to 3.3 .3 volts, so we will get 3.3 .3 volts. If you connect it, rotate it to the right, the middle one is now connected to this side, and if this is connected to ground, you get zero volts. If you put this somewhere in between, you get at the, at the halfway between 3.3 .3 volts. And then in between those, if you move it to any points. So we will connect one side, for example, this side, the left side, which goes to the minimum. This will, is connected to the white, and the white wire is connected to the ground here. To the USB side, this is ground. And the middle pin, which is the actual voltage, this is connected to this wire to the gray which I have connected here to to the SN or V pin to this point I have connected in here and the right pin and this one to the right this is connected to 3.3 .3 volts uh, via this wire so this is our 3.3 .3 volts and when we run the code this pin will be able to read the voltage on this wire Let me now explain the code. From the top, we are defining a pot pin or potentiometer pin of type integer, and we set it as constant, so it cannot change during the execution of the code. And we assign pin 39, meaning that we are reading pin 39's voltage. And the integer pot value, this is the value for the potentiometer, which will be used internally in the code. And then we have a float type data, variable we call it voltage this is integer and this is float because this will have a whole number inside the setup we initialize the serial monitor with 115,200 bit per second which i'm going to show you in the serial monitor when you click tools serial monitor or control shift m or if you connect this if you click on this icon on the right top corner then i'm going to show you how to set this inside the loop we run continuously and we are reading using analog read the pot pin which have been defined above as 39 and the value will be between 0 to 4095 which I just explained before the value will be stored here depending on the voltage if the voltage is 0 volts it will be 0 if the voltage is 3.3 .3 volts it will be 4095 and then the voltage between the 0 and 3 will be some value between those two values. So this value is now being multiplied by, because the maximum voltage is 3.3 .3 and the maximum points that we have is 4095, this is a 12-bit. We divide this by this number. This will be a ratio multiplied by this pot value will give us a voltage with respect to 3.3 .3 volts. Now this is our voltage, this is a pot value, and we print using serial.print. This is inside a quotation, we print the pot value, this is a text. And in the next line, we print actual value, whatever is being read there. And I put a little space, and then we, with a space, we put 
voltage so this value this value or this value will, will be split on one line because we don't have print ln it's just print when you say print the next value will be printed beside this immediately in here when you see it on the screen which i'm going to show next and after this value we have a little space and then the voltage and then we get actual voltage this is a text voltage and this is a value for the voltage like 2.5 volts or whatever and then immediately after this we print v and after this we enter so the next line that text when it comes again will be in the next line so this will create an a carriage return at the end of the line so it's called ln or new line and then we give it 50 millisecond for as you have seen here for stability and the loop will continuously doing the same thing from the top to bottom now let me demonstrate it first i'm opening the serial monitor by clicking here as you can see it shows spot value and voltage value zero if i expand the screen on the right side lower corner of the screen you see 115,200 this number must match the number that you have set here otherwise you will not be able to see the value so let me open it again and now this is connected and I'm going to rotate the potentiometer if I rotate it clockwise you will see we will be able to see some value immediately the value jumped 216 and the voltage is 0.17 volt or 170 millivolts so I will increase it slowly I'm almost at the middle 1.17 something so if this is fully linear you will see proper uh, value with respect to the position of the knob if I rotate it to the right you will see we are getting 4095 and 3.3 volts as you can see this is just refreshing continuously because the value is read every 50 millisecond and it's very responsive when I turn it so it changes very quickly 19 millivolts uh, 190 milli, uh, millivolts that's 600 millivolts using this equation it's being calculated Thank you for watching. This was how to use the analog input pens of ESP32. If you found this useful and learned something, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer a reply. And if you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, you may subscribe now.